Today we're going to demonstrate how to mount buckle cells. The aerospace cytology stainer has a dual purpose. It can be used to stain, but also to be used with our cytophore rotor to cytocentrifuge cells onto slides. This is our cytophore rotor. We'll be using these brushes here. These are disposable pipettes. We have our slides with the circles on them so we can identify where their cells will be located. And I have my diluent here, which is a saline solution. And I also have my saline solution in this tube that will be used to suspend the cells um, before mounting. And then after we're done, we'll be used, putting them into a 95% ethanol solution before staining. So from there, we're going to start. We'll be using the brush and we'll be swabbing the inside of our cheeks. Once you have a good swab, you'll be putting it into this tube here. We'll be agitating it slightly. And while that's sitting, we're gonna let the cells come out. We're going to label this. We're just gonna put a date. and initials. All right. I want you to have a little bit of turbidity in there. It's not a highly turbid solution. We're going to then take our slides um, for these. show you what they'll look like. I already have them pre-mounted into my rotor, but they're going to have a circle. That's where our chambers are going to hit. And I'll show you the chambers in a second. So that's what those are gonna look like. So from here, you're going to have chamber. We're using a single barrel chamber as well as slides. You wanna make sure it's facing inside the rotor here. You're gonna slide those in. For here, you'll want the open end of the chamber up and the paper end towards the slide. And you'll want to make sure it's balanced, so make sure you have that on the other end. And then take this, dispose of it. You want between 200 and 300 microliters. So what you're gonna do is about mm, two, three drops. This is a slightly less turbid solution. So we're gonna do three drops for this one. And you'll do that in each of the chambers. Go ahead and leave that in your solution. You're then gonna go to your diluent, which was the saline solution and you're going to finish out to about five drops total, so two drops in each of these. And that should give you the right ratio to get good monolayer of buckle, uh, buckle cells onto your slides. You can leave that in, in the tube itself. We'll go ahead and we'll place the rotor back, press this in to make sure that it's clicked, so that nothing's going anywhere. You got both sides, they're balanced. Go ahead and insert it into, carrying the bottom, into the stainer. Make sure it's mounted a bit off the hub. And you're going to then go to where the screen here, you're gonna see a Cyto option. You're going to go ahead and select that. We're just gonna run on the example program that comes with the machine. It's 1000 RPMs and will be five minutes. Go ahead and press start for that one. And then once it gets up to speed, it'll go for the five minutes and give you a countdown. All 
Once the cycle is complete, you can go ahead and click this check mark here. You can open this back up and take out the rotor. You can open up the lid here. You're going to burp the slides here. Just make sure everything's gotten through. And then go ahead and remove the chambers. You're going to slide out your slides here. You're going to go ahead and put them in your ethanol. And you're going to leave them there for 10 minutes. So you'll let this sit for 10 minutes. And then from there, we'll go on to steaming. 